Established in 1992 by Otto Muller, Safeline has grown from strength to strength and is today one of South Africa's largest manufacturers and distributors of the highest quality, ultra-reliable, high-performance brake pads. With Otto Muller as Managing Director and Chris Brand as Sales Director, Safeline is a well-established organization with a reputation for production excellence and technical expertise. At Safeline, there is only one focus, safest brake pads. This focused approach allows Safeline to constantly test and develop brake pad solutions for the many different vehicle markets to which they supply both locally and internationally. Today, Safeline develop and manufacture over 624 part numbers at their high-tech, state-of-the-art ISO TS16949 accredited manufacturing plant situated near Randburg. The Safeline manufacturing plant focuses on world-class manufacturing standards and also houses leading quality control and development departments. Join us as we embark on a journey of discovery. The manufacturing process begins with backing plate preparation and cleaning. A cleanser and corrosion inhibitor is used for this process. The next step is the shot blasting. Once this is completed, the backing plates are moved to the glue applicator where glue is applied at a predetermined thickness. From here, they are sent through a dryer located in a dust-free environment. Safeline has the unique feature of pin stamping the batch number onto the backing plate so that it can always be read and traced for quality control reasons. The compound and backing plates are stored awaiting the next part of the process. Then we move on to the mixing process, where ingredients are mixed to form the compound. The ingredients are mixed using the most modern mixing techniques to ensure a 100% homogeneous mix. Mixed compound is then positioned in a location ready for the press. The compound is then weighed out and pressed onto the backing plate in a cold press. Due to the huge demand on Safeline aftermarket pads, we have designed and have a patent pending for the world's first double swing press. The new press has enabled us to double our output. The system uses a cantilever that is recessed one and a half meters into the ground. It comprises two sets of tools for the one press. This facilitates two operators on the machine. While the one operator's pad is being pressed, it allows for the second operator to load another pad. Once pressed, the machine swings to the second operator and the process is repeated. Following this process, the pads are cleaned and set in oven clamps at a predetermined pressure to ensure compound density, which is checked at all times. The curing process is next. With approximately 4,500 brake pads being cured at a time for about 8 hours in a computer-controlled batch oven. A dual graph readout is used to ensure the curing temperature requirements have been met. After curing, they are then put into a clamp release mechanism to remove them from the oven clamps. At this stage in the process, a hold is put on all manufactured products as samples of each batch are taken to quality control for extensive compliance testing. A variety of testing equipment is utilized to ensure a perfectly manufactured product. All raw material particle sizes are checked using a sieve shaker. And a hardness and density test is performed on the cured brake pads. Prior to glue application, all backing plates are checked for tolerance and flatness. Our state-of-the-art shear testing equipment is used to ensure that the bond between the backing plate and the compound is well above the required minimum standard. Safeline is the first brake pad company in South Africa 
to conduct compressibility testing. This has since become a standard in the new Government Gazette specification. Finally, a sample from each batch is tested in the Kraus tester to check that the coefficient of friction conforms to the required standards. Once the samples have passed all the required tests, the batch is moved to the finishing department where the pads are ground to a specified thickness with grooves and chamfers, utilizing a diamond-coated cutter. At this point in the process, certain pads have a rubber backing screen printed onto the backing plate to reduce noise, which is dependent on the part number and usage of the brake pad. The brake pads are then powder-coated to international standards and cured. The world-patented BAIS Brake Abuse Indicating System machine, which is unique to SafeLine, is then used to pad print the SafeLine logo onto the backing plate. The brake pad is then held in place whilst holes are drilled into the backing plate to a predetermined size and depth. These holes are then filled with thermal indicating paint to allow SafeLine to know exactly what temperature the brake pad has reached during the braking process. Clips are then fitted. The next step in the process is the packaging. This is another first for SafeLine in its drive to become green and environmentally friendly. SafeLine is now using reusable and recyclable plastic containers to pack their brake pads. They are water resistant durable and flexible. The plastic containers come in five different sizes. The best part is that they now can be reused after the pads have been removed for packaging nuts and bolts, pencils and crayons and makes a handy lunchbox as well as many other useful applications. One set of brake pads is placed into a machine that shrink wraps the brake pads together which are then placed in the uniquely designed reusable plastic box. A stamp is then placed on the packaging, indicating the date and who the packer was. Containers are then packed into cardboard boxes for storage. From here, the product is moved to the store, ready for delivery to the customers. Another first for SafeLine Copper Asbestos Free Compound. Whilst many manufacturers are compliant with laws regarding asbestos, SafeLine is the first in South Africa that supplies asbestos and copper-free brake pads. Copper from brake dust washes into the groundwater system and contaminates the water system. The global brake industry requires 14 more years to meet legal requirements. Clearly, SafeLine is a global leader in copper and asbestos-free technology, making the environment and the world a safer place. SafeLine uses ECE90, which has two of its own dynamometer testing machines, which are utilized to conduct wear test comparisons, thermal analysis, fade tests, speed sensitivity, and cold performance equivalence tests. In addition, on-car testing is conducted on various vehicles on a regular basis. The most recent report was done by ECE90 utilizing an Opel Corsa light. It is done as follows. Rear brakes are disconnected and the V-Box which works off satellite navigation is connected by sensor to the front disc brakes. An inline pedal pressure gauge is then connected to the brake pedal. Now, at a predetermined speed and predetermined brake pressure, on application of the brakes, the information of the V-Box is sent to the computer. This gives us the exact stopping distance reading. Judging by these results, it's obvious that SafeLine brake pads are way ahead of the rest. 
Needless to say, with all these thorough and rigorous testing standards, SafeLine is now without a doubt South Africa's best and longest lasting brake band.